Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one's for Rick and Morty. Season 4, episode number 7. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. And please, hit that notification bell. Alright, a couple comments from episode... What? 6. Is that what we were on? Because we're doing 7 now. Yeah, 6. So it's got to be 6. <laughs> Executive producer Lissis says, I'm glad that you guys were confused. Uh, because I was in the same boat and I have no idea what happened in this episode. Yeah. First I thought they were on a typical Rick and Morty adventure and then I thought they were stuck in a series of stories like the, like Inception and they had to get out of each one to survive, but I'm not so sure after that bizarre ending. Don't get me wrong, the episode was hilarious and one of my highlights was when Jesus was descending down Story Lord that I was <laughs> like, God damn! Yeah. And the other one was Morty's feminist masterpiece. Can't wait for the next one. Yeah. Alright, Cornelius comes in to say, Dan Harmon uses a cir circular literary device to help him write episodes. The train was supposed to represent it. It's a meta story exploring Harmon's writing process. There are several videos about Dan Harmon's story circle on YouTube where he explains how it works. Even knowing that, the episode is still hard to follow. Yeah, yeah I was just like, it went way over my head. Alright, let's get to episode 7 right now. Society's gonna be that hard to navigate. Okay, yeah, this might be a little harder than I thought. Holy shit, they've got an MM store. They got an MM store. <laughs> Here's the plan. Put this back on your face. Oh, I'm not putting that back on my face. Relax, it's dead. Now it's okay, dead. Okay, now it's dead. Come on, hurry up. Rick, it's bleeding. It's bleeding acid. All right, well, that should be the last of it. If not, then just give me two tugs on the arm. <laughs> no. Seems like a self-destructive life cycle. Is that going to happen to us? You feel an egg in your stomach? No. Well, glass half full. How's it going? South like Glorzo. Totally. Love Glorzo. Glorzo is peace. Peace is Glorzo. Wow, just cogs in the machine, you know? M makes you think. Yeah, I'm sure you'll make this into a beautiful short film that your parents will pay for, Morty, but right now we really just need to find my ship. You sure you're not just jealous? Looks like I'm kind of a celebrity around here. The future is Glorzo! Oh my god. Glorzo. I was just reading you. Congratulations on making it into print media. Real bright future there. Honestly, it's shocking to see the two of you together. Because we're both geniuses? No, because I've seen your videos and you make me fucking sick. Fix him. Wow. Fix him. Glory to Glorzo. Sir, you shouldn't wander off like that. We've been looking all over for you. The project is ready for your approval. What the fuck Sir, is, is this man doing over you? Um, no, he, he's fine. Uh, what, what project? Jesus Christ, who the fuck was I? Here's a scientific fact I'm not allowed to say. Our hosts are biologically designed to incubate our eggs. If that triggers you, fuck off. If it doesn't, please. Oh, oh shit! How big is this city? I know, it's like pick a lane. Are you face hunters or industrial? Yeah, feels kind of good when there's no guilt, huh? Yeah, it's, it's like in Star Wars. Yeah, just like in Star Wars. Go nuts! What's up? Yeah. What if it's cheating? Yeah. Let's lick tits. Lick tits. <laughs> Shouldn't we be finding some trouble alive scene? You know that song, Rick? From the, when the prisoner is singing? Come on, Morty, for fuck's sake. It's my jail time. I can spend it however I want. Oh, means glory to me. Too many eggs and stuck on the face. It's the same eggs. Life is life, and that's the way it goes. Hello, Troy. Hello, Jez. 
Yes. How is it going? Really good, Commander. Sh and, yeah, because I do what I want, because someone's got to stand up for what's right. Why do you hate her so because much? she took you away from me. Mm. <laughs> whoa, man. Jesus Christ. No, I, I didn't. Whoa, I... whoa, whoa. No. It's cool. I feel the same way. Stephen Bruce. I've got a plan, okay? Stephen Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> that was smart. <laughs> Everyone around the office knew that. The punishment is death. Motherfucking summer. Said you had a plan. Silence. The Council of Glorzos has spoken. More like Council of Shit. Glorzo is law. Silence. The punishment is death. By getting into their car. Summer. Shut up. Yes. Place them in the car. Those pieces of shit. No, no, th no, this is like torture. No, I, I, I hate being in my car. You deserve it, you pieces of shit. You pieces As of shit. As to make sure the sentence is passed, I shall be joining them in the car, and we shall drive away from here and die. Okay, guess what, everybody? It's me, the whiny guy you never want to hear from. She's trying to escape with her family. My time to shine. Execute her. My time to shine. My time to shine. Morning, now. Why do you got you don't want to hear Jesus, we're in the Maybe we, uh, maybe we don't tell people about this one. Did we at least learn something? That we suck and everyone sucks? I guess that counts. Later, chodes. Hit me on the next one. Chodes. Did we suck and everyone sucks? Because <laughs> we get stuck in their faces. You know, Rick, I'm sure you want to jump into another crazy adventure, but... Can we just relax and maybe watch some interdimensional cable? Cool if you are. Honestly, that sounds great. You know, we don't need to try so hard, you know? Let's just take it easy and riff, you know? That's what I love about us. Me too, buddy. Do you suffer from Alzheimer's? 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 Rick, do you suffer from Alzheimer's? Rick, do you feel... Oh, God. I have to shit an egg. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, it hurts. Oh, God. Is this how we die, Rick? I don't know, Is this how we die? I don't know. Uh, uh. I don't want to shit an egg, Rick. Sorry, Morty. I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's not my fault. Hey, you two. Did you... Beth, your son is dying. Say goodbye. What are you... Say goodbye to your little boy. No, look away. I'm making an egg, Mom. Oh, I'm making an egg. You said you'd keep me more in the loop this year. Look away, Beth. Oh, Daddy oh, loves oh, you. Oh, my ass. My ass. This is it, Morty. Uh, it's full circle from the pilot. Full circle. Full circle for the pilot. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. oh, I guess we, uh, I guess we both just had to take a shit. Yeah, I, I, I guess we, uh... Fucking gross. Guys, clean it up. Ew! Damn. Ew! It's another poop episode! They got you with the poop when that's the baby. <laughs> Crazy zany fun. Look at your dad, such a dork, keeping bees. I mean, it's, at least it's interesting, though. At least, like, I wish my dad kept bees. I mean, it's kind of cute. Like, your dad keeps bees. How old is your dad? He's obviously beekeeping age. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of sweet. Summer, I want to fuck your dad. Oh, really? Oh, oh really? really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't being clear. That wasn't being obvious enough to you. Alright, that was episode 7 of Rick and Morty. And man, classic, outrageous, uh, landish Rick and Morty episode right there. They got busy from this whole beginning. It was just chopping head, blowing up shit, doing crazy Rick and Morty. And then, but... They did get you with the smartness of the writing of it. It is actually a story to go with it, too. And then they went full circle to show you what happened. Whole classic thing. Whole classic thing. But, uh, man, it was it was pretty funny until the end they got to the poop part. I mean, but that's only one little minute uh, takeaway you can get from that. But everything else worked like a mug up in this one for me. So um, I love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to the next one. Yeah, I thought this episode was so brilliant. Like, it was so good. And once again, I feel like MVP goes to summer. I thought she came through. Again, boss status. I do love... Um, 
the the plot device as far as going back and see like her telling the story up to the point and the fact uh -huh. that she was filling stuff in. I thought it was brilliant that like the the whatever the creatures on Morty and uh, uh, Rick's face had their own story. <laughs> Steve, uh, I just thought it was super smart and clever, and I love the full circle aspect and the reveal as far as how we got to this moment. I always like things like that. Uh -huh. So. Uh, Rick and Morty does it in a way that's even more satisfying than most shows can. Yeah. Um, but I absolutely love this episode. I yeah. The only criticism is I never think poop is funny uh, ever. So, um, <laughs> but that is such a small thing that I really don't give a f. Like yeah, it was a really yeah, good solid yeah. episode, and I cannot wait for the next one. Yeah. All right. Well, look. Thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for Rick and Morty season four, episode seven. And until next time, people. Peace.